August in the Ozarks. Here it is, a balmy 78 degrees and a gentle rain. Absolutely a burden. So, um, I went out to my garden today. I picked some things that are ripe. I, you know, I never know every summer whether, whether, what I'm going to be canning, what I'm going to be doing, um, what's going to do well, what's not going to do well. This year, luckily, uh, we have some cucumbers. Mine also, but also given to me by another saint. We have some green beans. Every year I try to grow green beans and the bugs decimate the plants and I hardly ever get any beans, but this year I have some. Um, given the next couple of days and the way the plants that are alive are producing, I might be able to can in a couple of days. Um, and I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you the harvest, harvest, ha! Huh? It's not tons and tons, but we've been eating off of the garden all summer and um, I can't tell you the last time when I went to the store that I actually bought any vegetables. Also, our passion fruit are ripe, so we'll be able to be eating them too. Stay tuned! I'm going to show it to you just as it came out of the garden. I haven't even washed it yet. You can tell there's dirt on stuff. These are cabbage or collard leaves. I'm not really sure which one. Um, I know it's a big green leafy plant. Um, there's hardly any chew holes because the initial plants got all torn up so I put down some seven dust and um, the plant recovered so the the really yucky leaves I fed to my goat so these I will cook saute them later good for you um, there are beans interspersed in here I have two varieties I have a I'm sure these are blue lake bush beans and then a French purple bean and these this one's really prolific. There's tons and tons of flowers and little beans out there. So I'm hoping, like I said, in a couple days to get a pretty good harvest out of them. Put that over to the side there. These are the passion fruit. They have fallen off, which is usually a sign something's ripe. And also there's some sort of little rat thing out there eating them. So that's another reason I wanted to get them inside. Um, ours are yellow when they are ripe and you can see it's sort of a yellow. I'll open one of those at the end of the video so you can see the inside. These are banana peppers. We have a bunch of peppers. We just stir fry them. These are the cukes. Some, like this one's a burpless. Uh, this one's an overgrown pickling cucumber. And then I have a really huge one in here. Yeah, this one. I think this is a burpless too, but it went for a couple of days and ended up being big, but with this one and a couple others I have enough to make a small batch of pickles and I'll probably make uh, the bread and butter then I picked the tomatoes because again bugs and stuff are getting at them see this one's cracked right yeah that one's cracked usually it's grasshoppers biting them that cracks them and then we've got some little cherry tomatoes I have a lot more out there I just don't like picking them and bringing them inside because I don't want to have them sitting around and them get old I'd rather they stay out and ripen on the vine. So that's today's um, harvest from the garden. I also brought some onions in because of the rain. They were supposed to be drying, but they got all wet. So, And I'll open one of these. This is not solid. Like I can push. You can see I'm pushing on it and it indents. Um, and you just open it up. And that's what it looks like inside. Looks kind of like a little monster. Uh, smells fruity though. Smells citrusy. And this is what you eat. Mmm, it's good. It has a seed in it. I, all seeds are good for eating according to the Bible. I don't feel like chewing on them, so I'm going to spit them out. But well, now I'm going to chew it. It's a nice, delicate flavor. It's kind of tangy at the end. Sweet up front and tang at the end. It's good. I mean, mm. you can tell why people mm. eat them. It's pretty fresh tasting, too. I and mean, this is free. Right from the Lord. Growing out there wild all over the garden. All right. Shalom. Just a little slice of heaven here. Give you a little respite from your daily craziness. Just listen to the birds and the breeze and the cicadas. 
thanks for watching. Um, thanks for subscribing. And if you found this video interesting, there'll be some others suggested for you to watch. And uh, thanks for coming to my channel. I appreciate every single one of you. Bless you and shalom.